Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Uh, it's great to be here at TEDx, living the questions. My first poem was called, If Love. If love can build a bridge, can affection put up a shelf? <laughs> it's not my best poem, by any stretch. Uh, it's just a little... It's nice that you clap it, thank you. It's, it's, um, it's not even my shortest poem, to be honest. My shortest poem um, is a savage uh, sideswipe um, at, uh, at the, way, the way that science perhaps preys upon our vulnerability and our insecurity. It's called Botox. Botox. Early onset taxidermy. <laughs> it's quite strong, isn't it? It's quite powerful. I actually, I, I actually worry that people might be offended by that poem, but if they were offended, how would I tell? It's quite, <laughs> it's quite a tricky question. Um, the most challenging, one of the most challenging questions I personally have been asked recently was when the Waste and Resources Action Project Love Food, Hate Waste campaign phoned me up and they said, Matt, do you think you could write us a love poem to a potato? <laughs> and I said, yes, that's, that's, a, that's, a lovely, that's a lovely commission, I'd love to do that. They said, do you think you could write us a poem that will change the behaviour of a generation? And I said, sure, sure. Um, because they were going to actually pay me advertising copyright rates, which is fantastic for a poet. And they said, could you write us a poem that um, expresses that your love takes the form of not wanting to waste any of your potato? And I said, so you want me to write a poem to the whole potato? <laughs> and they said, Matt, we think you're really beginning to hear us now. <laughs> and so I wrote the whole potato, and I read it to a room full of advertising executives. <laughs> over a Skype conference call with as much passion as I shall put it across to you. This is the whole potato. <laughs> I love the whole potato, skin and all. The po, the tay, the toe, it's criminal to throw even a bit of it away. Say whoa, say hey, say whoa, hey, whoa. <laughs> Don't throw away the potato. <laughs> Do not betray the po, the tay is not the way to go, no way. You must be true to toe, potato, total po and tay and toe, the toe and tan of toe, tal too, but not the bee, the tray, the owl of betray owl. <laughs> Don't feed the crim, the in, the all of criminal, but love the whole potato, skin and all. <laughs> Thank you. Now, Thank you. Thank you for recognising the universal sign of... Please clap my poetry. <laughs> recognised all around the world. It's particularly important that you clap that because they didn't. <laughs> they actually went, nah. <laughs> they said, the thing is, Matt, we were hoping you'd be a bit more specific. We were hoping that you'd get across that if your potato was to sprout in its storage area, that you wouldn't just chuck it away, but you'd peel it, you'd boil it, you'd mash it. And if you had some mash left over, you wouldn't just chuck that away. You'd put it in a little bag, put it in the freezer, have it later. And could you make it a bit shorter as well? <laughs> and so I wrote, Oh, potato. Oh, potato. No part of you's inedible, though all of you's inaudible. <laughs> the taste of you's incredible, the price of you's affordable. No spud is dud. <laughs> If you get sprouty, I don't go all throwy outy. <laughs> but focus all my passion into peeling, into mashing. I still need you, so I freeze you. <laughs> Saying softly, see you later, <laughs> mashed potato. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, and they, and they like that one, so that was okay. <laughs> My last poem of, of, of this little slot is um, it's called Less Is More, and it's, I ask the question, is, can less be more? Uh, we are going to be living with less, it's inevitable. Um, but I reckon for everything that we have less of, there'll be more of something else. I mean, that's just physics, isn't it, really? Yes, it is, just trust me, that's just <laughs> physics. Now, what's the best thing about this poem is it involves audience participation, and you get to say, should you so choose, you get to say, more participation, with a lot of feeling. And, um, 
You'll know when to say it. We're going to practice it once, after three. One, two, three. Organization. That's good. <laughs> it's nice that you left room for improvement. Um, OK, you know what to say. You're, you're pretty good at saying it. I just trust that you're going to know when to say it. There are three times in the course of the poem. You'll know. Enough of you will know. <laughs> trust yourselves. Less is more. More bikes, fewer cars. Less haze, more stars, less haste, more time, less reason, more rhyme. More time, less stress, fewer miles, more fresh vegetables. <laughs> fewer car parks, more acres of available urban soil, more farmers markets, less produce effectively marinated in crude oil. <laughs> okay, good point. More community, less isolation, less just sitting there. More Few. <laughs> fewer couch potatoes, more spring greens, fewer tired tomatoes, more runner beans. Less competition, more collaboration, less passive listening. More excellent, excellent. Less of a warm globe, more of a chilly one, more of a wise world, fewer parts of CO2 per million. Less stress-related cardiovascular and pulmonary failure. More nurturing quality time spent in the company of a favourite clematis or dahlia. <laughs> Less attention deficit. Thank you. Very good, over there. More concentration. Less passive listening. More Less repetition. More craftsmanship. Less built in obsolescence. More political maturity. Less apparently consequence free extended adolescence. More believed to be beautiful, known to be useful things. Less cheap, pointless, petroleum steeped stuff. So, yes, less is more. And enough's enough. Thank you. See you later.